VoIP is a hot topic with the switch of uh, landlines and ISDN in 2025. But how does it work? What does it cost? And how do you start with it? VoIP makes calls over the internet. That's the super simplified answer. The real how does it work depends on what type of phone system you have. At the heart of all of VoIP is a phone system. This is what each phone connects to. And I don't just mean the desk phones, but also apps on your smartphone, computer, or integrations with Microsoft Teams. The phone system can either be hosted in the cloud or installed in your office as a physical box or software on a server. Many VoIP solutions today offer hosted, which make them far easier to set up and use. And then they are not reliant on your office having internet and power to work like older phone systems, as you can then use the mobile apps and mobile data in the event of an outage. Otherwise, you're having to have good backup power for your office and backup internet to keep your business online. So what does this all cost? This depends on what you choose to have. With many hosted VoIP options, you pay per extension, calls, plus any add-ons such as call recording, while others you may just pay for the system and calls. Then you have hardware costs if you choose to have desk phones or headsets if you want to use computer apps. And the final cost is part of moving to a new phone system called number porting, which is a charge to move numbers between providers. This can vary dramatically between providers. Now, how to start? First is deciding between hosted or in your office. You might make this decision based on costs, security or features. Hosted is usually easier to set up and maintain because the provider does a lot of that for you. Whereas in your office, there will be a system, hardware and software that needs to be kept updated and running smoothly. From a security perspective, your office, you can lock down a lot more if you only plan on using it within your office. However, as above, you're also maintaining the security of a system more than one that's hosted. Now that part's decided, you need to count up how many phones you need, how many people you have. One person can have multiple phones, both physical and apps, and how many phone numbers, both your existing numbers that need to be ported and any new numbers you want, such as direct dial numbers. You will also want to consider any ring groups, auto attendance and advanced features to be set up. This now gives you what you need to order and set up. There are some pitfalls you want to avoid. Check out this video to find out what they are.